Hi everybody, my name is Keaton and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we just, uh, we just unlocked the first Skyview Tower uh, at the Lookout Landing for the Hyrule Field. And we also just, uh, we also did the, all the Koroks from the Great Sky Island and then we just explored around Hyrule Field to find six shrines. And, and as my map here, I'm going to show off, my next destination for the shrine is right over there, which I will get to that soon. Because right now, I want to focus on going over there because that's the next tower that I wanted to, uh, I wanted to take care of first. And I wanted to mention, I scanned my amiibo, uh, this morning. So I just got myself, here, I'm going to sh show you, uh, <clears throat> don't mind about the weapons. I got myself a Cap of the Wind for using a Toon Wing Amiibo from The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. So, so I was so close to be having a Skyward Sword Link style, but that's okay. Uh, I, I wanted to show you that I forgot to mention. For scanning Amiibos, I got the Sword Spirit Fabric for the Paraglider, which I probably never... I don't know what these are for, that I pressed these, but... But yeah, that was from Skyward Sword, Wink Amiibo, Sheik Fabric from Sheik Amiibo, and then uh, King of Red Lions Fabric from The Wind Waker. So I never have any of these, but <clears throat> but hey, it does sound really awesome uh, to have it like that. <clears throat> so, and here we go. Uh, looks like we have ourselves some Korok right here. Which I'm gonna go ahead and get to that. There we go. Sun Dylan. Interesting name. Alright, get up there, Link. And then, there you go. <clears throat> I found you indeed. And I found a shrine here. It's right there. Which... Which I'm gonna... There you go. I'm gonna put the... Pin there. I know there is one, but I think I'll do that. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do the tower first, then I will do the shrine that I put the blue, the the blue or purple pin there, and then I will. Then hopefully I'll go for like the red one. I like, go for the red pin to get me to another shrine location. <clears throat> so yeah, I've been practicing playing this game. Not too far, you know, just any shrine style that I go to, I get to have practice with. <clears throat> so this is Sahara Slope Skyview Tower in West Nukua. Forgive me for saying the word wrong, but uh, we're gonna go talk to this, uh, yeah. Billson here. So, did you come to see the Skyview Tower? My apologies, it looks like we have a small problem over here. What's going on? I heard that the terminal at the Skyview Tower needed repairs, so I came to fix it, but... The door won't open. I have no clue why. The door isn't locked, but it won't budge, no matter how hard I push or pull. Ah, of course, I know it's a sliding door. That's what I meant, obviously. <sighs> I worked up and a pit getting my brain into gear for this. I bet the nearby caves would be or would have some tasty mushrooms. Caves? Oh. Yep, there are caves at the bottom of the hill. I used to go mushroom hunting in them all the time while we were building a tower. Ah, so it tells me it's somewhere down here. <clears throat> which is... Uh, which is if I come down here. Oh, jeez, there's a bat. Sahashara Slope Cave. <clears throat> Alright. I think I know a good way to start, so... Yeah, I scanned a Ganondorf Amiibo from Twilight Princess, and uh, okay, yeah, I've been carrying Amiibo around. Alright, here we go. Oh, hey, can I get the rupee? There you go. 337, not bad. Alright, at least I know where, I, don't, I know which part that we can go to for. Okay, I don't know, it's somewhere around, but I'm just gonna keep like hitting those folders. Whatever happens when I wanted to go. Alright. 
There you go. Just want to finish that up. And uh, I'll go ahead and use a, a, a Knight's Broadsword. And I'm going to equip out my bow too. Because I'm going to be fighting with those guys. I try to do like a, a slide jump. Whoa, are you going to hit me? Oh gosh, yes. You just hit me. How dare you? That was so not fun. Not funny. I was going to say not fun. But yeah, not funny at all as well. There we go. Headshot and headshot. Uh-oh. Dude, I'm like, I'm gonna drown here if I don't get off the water, because I'm not here to swim. Horriblin Horn and Horriblin Claw. So they're called Horriblin or Horriblin. That's a weird name. Okay. You know, I don't need the long stick, actually. But I could take that... I'll take the sword... You know, I'll just use it. Boom! There you go. Oh, I get the blue Horblim horn. That's cool. <clears throat> In this chest, which I'll probably take out... Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I'll just open this chest. Shield of the Mind's Eye. Sadly, I don't think I'm gonna take it. Not my style, but it's okay. Alright, where's the where's the rock? So I can Oh there you go. Oh my So I can fuse. There you go. Let's break that. We can mine it. So we can like you know. As we mine it, uh, we could get ourselves any uh amber like this one. We could also grab anything besides Amber, like Sapphire and Ruby. There's all kinds of collectibles we could do in the game. <clears throat> so yeah, I think what I'm doing right now... Ah, there we go. It'll take us out here, which... Yeah, I'll go ahead and take this Splash Fruit. I never used it. <clears throat> Oh. oh yeah, there's a... what's that? Oh yeah, uh, a blue night shad, nightshade, okay. Tongue twisting for when I say the word wrong. Oh, I broke the flint. I, I was gonna like grab it, but oh well. I'm like breaking the last right here, I don't know why. Wait, why are you crouching like that, Link? You're not supposed to crouch while oh, hitting this boulder, which we're about to be getting close to, actually. Because now we're, like, here. Like, yeah, right here. There we go. Wait, what did I just fuse? Ah, no, no. Oh, I can't take that out. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. I did not mean to, like, fuse the other sword. Why did I do that? That's not what I'm here for. That's not what I'm telling the game for. Grab these rocks. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to ascend. Okay. Uh, let's do that here. <clears throat> it looks like we're swimming through, the, swimming through to the ceiling. It sounds weird, but okay. So we could open, but huh? How'd you get inside? I don't know. Let's see anything else. Let's see if he's gonna say anything. Oh. Say, since you're inside, can you open the door? Is there anything strange near it? Uh, yeah, we have like a... It's those sticks that's what's in the way. Whoops. 
Oh yeah, let's, all right, let's open the door. It's open. How in the world did you manage to fix it? I can't believe a couple of sticks caused all this hazel. I wonder if those were in there to begin with, it just fell over somehow. Or if some monster did that on purpose. <laughs> Either way, that really helped. Thank you. Well. The Bachansen, or the Bachansen, aren't working quite right. I'll just give them a bit of oil. Uh. Ta-da! It wasn't a big problem, so a little oil cleared it right up. Right, I'm going to hurry on ahead, so this is a goodbye. Alright, well, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for helping to fix this. So there you go. Uh, <clears throat> we have done this before. If you remember last episode, we did, when we come to the lookout landing to meet Pearl for the first time, that's what we just came here for to do. You know, to like unlock the map for the sky and the surface. Here we go. We're doing it again. Like, remember last time? Because I know what's going to happen. There he goes, Link up, up in the sky. Which, oh yeah, I can change the, I can move the camera angle while going up. Even around while diving after, after the cutscene about, uh, you know, having a, the, you know, having the map shown. But it does look really awesome, though. I like how what the scene is like. Surface map updated, and the sky map updated. And we're just gonna dive. That's what Link is doing. Alright, so that would be this way. Because, yeah, I want to follow that way for our blue pin. But yeah, look at this. I love the way how the dive is. It looks really awesome. And here's a shrine right here. Just what we're about to be going to. Okay, well, I already... I just used a paraglider to get me over here. And I think we're heading to some memory death that's from Breath of the Wild, if you guys remember. Let's land here. Alright. Let's go in the shrine. Let's see what we have here. An upright device. Okay. Uh, we're gonna use ascend. So we could go up. Because up is the direction. Which, here we go. We're gonna do that. Alright, well... This might look complicated, but not in a terrible way if you ask me. Uh, I think I'll use- I'll just use a rock hammer. <laughs> oh, you know what? Right, 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 I forgot. Okay. Here, do- here- Oh, nope, nope, nope. Uh, I actually wanted to use a ultra hand. Alright, I'm gonna turn this around. And go this way. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, wait, I did terrible. Ah! <laughs> I did terrible. Okay, I should have, like... Okay, well, good thing I don't have to go through the beginning. No, 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 do not. Do not. Let's not. Uh-oh, I can't turn around. Oh, wait, well, I actually can. Alright, so I'm gonna, like, put this here. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is use a bow. 
Aha, there you go. That's much better. Huh? All right, so let's, let's, all right, let's see here. I think it goes the other side. Yes, it does actually. Um. Ah, okay. Oh gosh. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try it this. Way. What I actually wanted to do is I wanted to get on top. All right, here you go, man. Shoot that. Oh gosh. Hey, at least I can still go up there. I believe what I have to do is put it right here. Alright, let's put it here. Now I'm gonna like put this here as well for myself. Oh crud, okay, well that's that's the wrong way. Unless hold on, wait a minute. Instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it this way. All right, come here, you. Let's put you right here. Let me test this out. Ah, there you go. All right, that actually worked. Okay, Let, let's make sure we tried it this way. If, wait. Oh my gosh, I'm like, where did it go? But I have a feeling I threw it up top. And I would have been, like, upset about it. Oh yes, look how it goes. Alright, I'll go ahead and pick it up, can I? I want to pick it up. <laughs> Come on, I want to pick it. Okay, thank you. I want to pick that up, please. All right, let's bring this one out. Okay, so I think what I have to do... Oh God, no, not like that. Oh yeah, you're still like that. Hold on, let me fix you. Okay. I would have got crushed by that. Alright. Oh god, pick that up before... Oh god, what did I do? I want to test things out before I do anything. Okay, hopefully this is the right angle. Okay. Oh my gosh. 
Yes, I got it. Oh my gosh, I officially made it. I am so happy now. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. Now we have officially made it. Alright, I'll skip it. Now we got ourselves a light of blessing. Now we got four. So you might be wondering, what am I doing here on a lookout landing sky view? Well, for getting the four blessing lights, I could go ahead and get myself another heart container from the goddess statue. First, let's talk to Pin here. So, well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a sky view tower. A real historic moment. Hey. What's your name? Hmm. Link, you say? Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy. <laughs> You've got the same name as that famous swordsman. Ha, good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. Ah. I'm Pin, by the way. I work for the Glucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event, so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seem like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Oh. Our newspaper is based in Hebra to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge. That leads to Retail Village. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of my life of a lifetime in a newspaper. Until then, Bye. so long. <laughs> Instead of saying so long, he says sore long. It does sound pretty weird, if you ask me. But but I'll take what he likes to say. I don't need to take the ladder because I could just land into the emergency shelter. Now, we're gonna pray the goddess statue. Let's pray it. Alright. I'm gonna get another heart container. I'm gonna get myself another heart container here. And that's gonna add up. Well, you'll see right away once it pops up. Here it is. We now have seven hearts. Go and bring peace to the world. I will. Sorry. Which actually, I'll talk to you right here. So you're a link, huh? Some of the soldiers were just telling me. As a simple man from Lorwyn, I'm a little starstruck. We don't see a lot of celebrities back home. Lorwyn? Lorwyn Village. It's a fishy town in East Nuquada, far to the southwest, or southeast. It used to be a popular resort thanks to its sandy white beaches and gorgeous views of the sparkling sea. Then we got attacked by pirates. Now no one's living there, let alone running the shops. But listen to me, getting all gloomy, there is an upside, if not for the pirates, my, my wife and I would have come here. I should just sh shut my trap and enjoy the charms of Lookout mm. Landing. I might ask the monster control crew if they could deal with the pirates in my village. We could. <laughs> uh, let's see here, I think I know there's a... Yeah, there we go, a side quest. Oh. Hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. I can say that because I'm a newcomer too. My name's Bermano, and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something fancy like, for today's menu, we have a fruit and mushroom mix. The rib you write up. Oh. Yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but I, I'm plump out of apples. If I don't have my most important ingredient, say goodbye to my rich, full flavor. Hmm. Oh. My nose is detecting an aroma, a sweet, tangy, pleasant aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? Take this. <gasps> wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. You can hear the soundtrack. Awesome. <laughs> I'm calling it Romano's Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Yeah, I can see mushrooms and some fruits. They look pretty good. Huh. I like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple and mushroom in a pot. You should try making some. 
today's menu side quest. That one is complete. And let's see here. I'm gonna. I know there's one and that is uninvited guests, which is a pony points. Which I haven't scanned my twelve at Princess Link Amiibo yet. So I think that's right there. So I'm gonna go there right now. I know there's a red pin here for the shrine, but I want to get to the. I want to try to finish up the side quest as I can. So let's go there for the side quest with uninvited guest. Well, sad to say, I couldn't find a Pona anywhere. Like you might be wondering, uh, what? Wait. Oh my gosh. So you've been there the whole time. Oh my gosh, I... So my whole time, I was like, where's Epona? But... I forgot that she was been there the whole time. So... Okay, well, I guess now I found her, so... I can't teleport with her to the stable where I was. I was gonna say, like, I scanned my amiibo, and I thought I was gonna get Epona, but... But I get us to chest with a nice broadsword. I was expecting about getting the what is it? I was expecting about uh, getting the the tw tunic of a twilight set, but but I get but what I get is just a knight's broadsword. It would have been interesting if I got the. It would have been nice if I got the uh, the the tunic of a twilight set. All right, so um, so let's see. It doesn't matter any stables I can go right. Oh yeah, that's the shrine I already went to. I almost went there. Wait, yeah, I almost went through with... to that shrine. Which, I already took care of that. I don't know why I have to go there again. That's... that's weird. Alright. Oh, if you remember last time when I... when I was while riding on... while riding the Pona like this, I ran into the, the tree that I didn't know they have like a fire fruit. That was pretty that was like the dumbest thing I ever done. Like I remembered it was so stupid because I was like just minding my own business riding a pony until I ran into a fire. I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? What's going on? Until what I didn't know is I ran into the, the fire fruit. Which is weird, like are you serious? Like I cannot even believe it. Like what the heck? That was so weird. And I think that's a shrine up ahead, which I can't, which I can't put the pin near because I'm running, because I'm, well, not only, well, not because I'm running a pony, because, uh, you know, I made her gallop like this. And yeah, the sky is falling right now. You can definitely tell. Oh, that good, good jump, opponent. All right, well, uh, let me see here. Adventure log and uninvited guests. Let's put it back there, which I'm close to that. Okay. So if I could just, I just have to like register Epona, so that way I can have her, you know, be mine. Now I don't have to worry about losing her. That way, after that's taken care of, we'll f hopefully we'll, we can finish up the side quest for our invited guest. And after that, then we can like head off to the, the shrine that we were just about to be heading to on the red pin mark. So, better get started. Uh, right. Still up and about after sundown, eh? Oh. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. It seems you're not a member yet. Oh. Our stable uses the stable's auction association's membership system, so you'll need a, you need to register if you want to use it. May I ask your name? Oh. Link. All right, Mr. Link. There. You're all signed up. Now, would you like to tell you about the stable system? Uh, tell me. Hmm. And allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us, and summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. Oh. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. There is a limit to how many horses you can board, but you are able to swap them in out as you please. Mm. Once again, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit the counter inside. Now, how can I help you? Register horse. Mm -hmm. Alright, understood. So you want to register, huh? According to our books, you entrusted a horse to us once before. I'll just go ahead and register any horse that had your name on it. Come to me later if you want to take them out. Now then, once again, if you want to register this horse here, 
You want to register it? Yes, I do. Normally, when you register a horrors, we could we charge 20 rupees, but we got a special promotion going on right now, so you can register your first horse for free. Okay, please enter your name. Hang on. Is, this is Epona, the horse of legend. What are you thinking? Trying to rename a horse of legend? It, it'd be disrespectful not to mention confusing. So Epona it is? Yes. Name register. You want to take it with you or board it? Uh, I'm going to take the horse right now. That concludes the registration process. Speaking of which, do you know about whistling? If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it will come running. Yes, I remember. But your horse isn't magic, it can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how pony point, point works. Pony points? That's right, it's a reward system. You can use a stable in short. Every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Not only it is your first visit to Wetland Stable, but you've also registered a horse. So here, you get two pony points. Ah, I get the card. Thank you. Oh. Save up points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. Oh. You could trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, and other information. Hmm. Come back again anytime. All right. Well, after this long, uh oh, I can't. I... Can I not? I'm oh, like, excuse me, I can't control opponent. Okay, there you go. Now we can talk. You become a stable member. That's great. Ah. Now I can thank you the way you deserve to be thanked with two pony points. Reward ah. available. Okay. Thanks to you, that na nasty monster is gone, and I can welcome customers with peace of mind. Thank you. There we go. Ah. All right, now I got that side quest complete. I thought I was never gonna be able to do it because I couldn't find opponent, but I'm so happy glad I. Uh, Alright, welcome, Link. Do you want to register horrors or take one out for a ride? Uh, board opponent, oh. please. I almost hit no, but okay, here you go. I almost thought I was never gonna, like, finish that side quest, but, uh. Hmm. Okay, I think that's probably more detail about the horses. I'm good for now. I'm gonna board her, so that way I don't have to worry about getting lost for her, so. Right now, I think we'll head to the red pin, who knows. Like, like I want to go there, actually. And here we are. Uh, there's a tower over there, but uh, I think I'll do that. I'm going to do the shrine first. Then I'll do the tower over there. I know there's something what's going to happen when I do this. So I'm gonna take myself a little time here for for like for this. It sounds like Yeah, there's that enemy that's chasing me. Whoa, and you guys are shooting at me now? Oh gosh. What do you want with me? Leave me alone. Good. Yeah, that's right, get lost. Alright. Let's go. We're gonna keep on going. I, w I went there, uh, which, wait. Aha, okay, I was like, I think I just saw a Korok, and the answer is, and the answer is yes, there's a Korok right there. Yeah. I found you indeed, now I get the Korok, 28. All right, wow, I almost, sh I almost start to shoot, start to shoot with the bow, but good thing I didn't. Yep. It's all the way over there. But don't worry. It, it will be fun to explore. We'll probably find another uh, shrine here. But, like, I'm pretty sure we'll find another shrine somewhere along with the, the tower. As I'm gonna I'm gonna make this video like probably probably like longer maybe two hours. Even though my video will freeze on me, but I can add another video to make it full, like I, like I did it before. So it won't be a big of a deal for me. Aha! Got you. I got a Korok. Found you indeed. Now I have 29. 
Alright, I'm just gonna ignore the keys if I can. I know they become really annoying, but I'm still gonna, like, ignore it. While I'll, be j I'll just be going up to explore. Alright. At least on a positive note, there's no enemies whenever they come near me. Alright, we're, we're almost to the top. I could make a car, but I... I never do that, but I have a feeling it might be hard for me. I haven't practiced yet, but I feel like... I think I'm more just like wanting to go to the, the shrines and just go do other things. I'll do my best to find Koroks whenever I see. But if I, if I got like all the maps updated for like the the you know the surface here and the sky up top after i took if, if i do the maps then i can do the the shrines i heard there's like 152 which i'm gonna do my best with collecting all those after that then i'll focus on the the koroks and then the side quest whoa that goat almost charged charged me luckily i dodge away that what a relief Alright, here we go. We're almost there to the shrine. I'm gonna make sure I do the same exact like I did with Breath of the Wild with with finding all the, the you know, just collect all the, the 13 R containers and I can't even like, dude, really? Seriously? Come on. Okay, will you get out of here, stupid bat? Get out of here, leave me alone. Oh my gosh, what do you want with me? Will you go away? I hate you. I hate you, bats. I don't want you. Alright, I see another falling. The sky is falling! <laughs> get it? I remember used to hear that when I used to watch Chicken Little, like the movies, so many times. Oh my gosh, I can't tell how, how you know, I used to watch that movie so many times. Wow, that's a lot of apples. Wait, was that? Ah, another shrine. Alright. Great deal. Hold on, I think I messed it up. Okay, I think that's much better here. Alright, let's go in. So let's see what we have here. So this is the... Mi oh, missing pathways. Now, when I was practiced doing this, uh, I haven't go... F I haven't gone near far up ahead, but I was like... Just going through right here. And, uh... I have to use something. What if I use... Hmm. That did not do anything. Let me see with you. Hmm. There's nothing to rewind about. Oh, uh, okay, hold on. I think I know what to do. I think I think the first part right here is just put it right here. Alright, use use a send to get me like to go up. Alright. Now it's this part that I have no idea what to do about. I don't know if I'm supposed to You know what? Maybe something I didn't do before. Let's. I'm gonna go through that. Hmm. Oh, 
or I'm supposed to like Oh, maybe I should have not do that. Or instead, oh, I can't get it, but I can't get it to up top though. Maybe I can. Maybe if I put it like close. Let's see. I hope this will work if I do this. Okay. Uh, ultra hand. Here we go. I can't. It doesn't show me. This is gonna be a problem because... Unless... Let's... Oh yeah, I'm on the water. Something I didn't think of. Maybe if I put it right here... Okay. I know I've been getting confused a lot, but I'm working on something. I'm figuring it out. If I couldn't figure out, then I'll just have a game guy to help me. Okay, let's see. Is it? Ah, uh, ah, yes! I can read it up top like that. That's great, actually. Yay, I did it. Awesome. I made it to the top. No problem for the video. I was confused though, but I, but I figure out what to do about that. That was not bad. And I just have a crows. There's two birds with me. Two crows. Hi guys. Until I run and scare them away. <laughs> wow, dude, that looks pretty, pretty far from here. That was like close to this thing. But it's okay, I I can still do this. I can keep going further up ahead, whatever I want. Even though I don't have enough stamina. But I'm not gonna worry about the stamina until I get up to like 13 hearts. You know, I'm gonna do the same exactly like I did with Breath of the Wild because, you know, when I did a playthrough of this as to 100%, I did with all the full heart containers. I like, first I did a 13 heart containers after that, then I did, uh, Stamina, and then I do, like, both Heart Container. I think I did it, like, four times, then I add one for Stamina, four times again, other half Stamina, and then after that, then I suddenly started to get, like, a full Heart Containers. I haven't watched my video about it yet, but I think, but I feel like maybe I should, should, maybe I should do that for that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and surf. It might take damage to break, but... But I don't see, and I don't have a problem about shield surfing. I think the problem with the shield surfing is I could... It, it'll break. It'll start to go badly damaged, and then it breaks. And Link can start, like, rolling down and takes himself a damage into the lot. Not really great, honestly. It's not really that good. Hey, at least I got another wood wooden shield with me, which I want to keep carrying it around with me. Oh, and I... I didn't know you guys were here. I am so sorry to disturb you all, but... But you guys want to fight with me, so... Oh, gosh. Okay. There we go. Quarry Rush is what I want. <laughs> Oh, yes, here we go. Oh, gosh, there's another person playing. Are you gonna do it, too? There we go. I have a good feeling it's gonna do it again, too. Ow! You hit me! Aha! I dodged from you. You didn't hit me this time. Whoa, I almost got caught on fire. Wow! <laughs> what an idiot! He just like burned himself to the like the fire to suicide. Like, dude, that is bad. Why would you do such a thing? That is terrible. And that's a pot lid, which I don't really need. Cause they're cause I don't want it. I don't find it useful for the pop, 
for the pot and for pot lid. And I don't want the wood, the wood stick either. Thank you very much. Ah, traveler's bow. It's I remember used to have that style. Uh, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna get rid of this. I remember I used to carry that around when I played Breath of the Wild. Okay. Let's get this over with. I gotta, like... I'm gonna do, like, the stamina shroom. Because I... Because you could say I used them when I was trying to go up to the top of the shrine. If you remember last episode. I, I don't know which one, but I remember I tried to get to that. And then I was like... Uh, you know, struggle it. I have to, like, do that later on. Alright, it looks like I don't have... Oh, well, I could cook up some three sun shroom. Do I have a... It looks like I... Oh, no, I do have a... I do have a, a spicy pepper, which I'm not gonna do that. Alright, there you go. I'll go ahead and use that along with the apples. Oh, that's good one. Nice one. Alright. Uh, I think we're good now. I think... I'll go ahead and eat the half of the apple. And, or eat, eat the half of the raw meat and an apple. I'll grab some apples. I remember... When I did a playthrough of this game on Breath, on Breath of the Wild, I gotten like all of the... You could say I got like all the... All the uh, apples. Like over a hundred or something. I'm like, wow, that's a lot. At least in a good way, because I love apples. Alright, was it that part? Hold on. Let me see, if I put the... Nope. I don't want it to put the blue pin here. I actually want to... There you go. Well, that's our next shrine destination that we're gonna go. Well, let's do that one first, because we, cause we found it first. There's, e there's even the, sta the stable. <clears throat> Outskirts stable. Yeah. So this is a stable here. That we uh, that we found here. So it's pretty awesome that we have a stable, while we can also have a shrine. All right, let's climb up. Good thing it's just cloud. It could be it'll be it'll be raining some point like sometimes, but at least right now not so much. All right. Let's see what we got here. So this is the stakes, or yeah, the stakes guide you. Huh. I wonder what I should do about this. Hmm. Uh oh, I think that this might be look hard for me. I think I'm gonna look it up on my game guide for this. So I'll see you guys uh, when I. I'll see you guys when I figure this out. Okay, I am back now. Um, so my game guide tells me. Um, let's see, so what it tells me, I have to like pick this one up. Which I actually have to grab like at the end here. Like this. Oh no, I made it like... Uh, wait. I'm confused. Am I supposed to like... Whoa! Well, I just fall to the death. Ah! <laughs> Whoops. Do I have to do the thing again? Okay. Oh no, we're good. It looks like I don't have to. 
That's good. All right. Oh, no. No. Oh, come on. Okay, I think I did too. Dang it. All right. Well, I should have not do that. What am I doing these days? Okay, Link, get up. You don't need to just lay there for, like, a minute. You can just jump and get up. All right. All right, I got it. All right, let me turn this around. Here, let's see. My game guide tells me. I think I'm supposed. To, I think I'm supposed to put it like here. Uh, oh wait, I have to put it up top here like this. And then, use the send to go up, and that'll take me to the treasure chest here. Got myself some five arrows. Not too bad. I was close to go up there, but oh well. Uh-oh. I'm like, dude, I can't move it up here like that. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. It still goes that way. Here, drop it down here. There we go. Let's see, maybe put it right here. Let's maybe if I try like up oh. uh <laughs> I think I screwed it up. You can keep doing what you're doing. I'm just gonna like... Okay. Oh gosh, wait! Oh, it... okay, I just respond here. I'm like, dude, are you serious? Nope, that does not do anything. I thought I almost had it. Oh gosh, why did I do that? Oh god, we're so close. Oh wait! Oh man, I thought I would add it. Okay, this puzzle is complicated than I thought. I think I need to put it like here. Maybe just have it like this. Oh, come on, we're so close. Oh, okay. Okay, we're close now. We're getting close. me to do about that Oops. 
I think maybe I did like Ah, okay. We're getting there. Okay. I just need to grab this ball right here. And yeah! Oh my gosh, we did it! Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Alright. Wait, why did it- did I just hit back? Yeah, I probably did. I don't know where I'm at. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. No! Come on! I wanted to get over there without the death, like, dying. Ah. Oh. Okay, here we go. Whew, yeah. Man, that was crazy. Light of blessing. Two down, two more to go. Now you might be wondering, what am I doing here exactly? Well, not only there's a... Well, there are things I wanted to take on, like... There's a tower I'm going to be heading to, but also we have ourselves a Korok, of course. Which, I'm going to talk to this Korok here again. So, uh, his friend got separated, and it's over there. I can see smoke far away from here, so... I can see the a smoke signal, which it's over there. <laughs> So, it's probably gonna take me, like, what I- probably, like, a, a long miles to get over there. As I'll be, like, getting close to the, you know, I'll be heading towards the tower. Which, I did a testing with the tower. Um, I don't think it's hard, but I think there's something to do about- I don't know, it- I'm probably just doing something that I- didn't think of it clearly. I know. You want to reach your friend. Don't worry. I will get you to your friend. It's okay. But yeah, I think what's nice is if I don't know where their signal is, I can talk to the Korok again and he'll help help me out with um Oh which I which I don't have to because I can see it over there. We're getting close. Yeah, it's annoying that it's gonna say I need to reach my friend, uh, but just gotta keep going, ignore it while we just keep uh, bringing it to its friend as we are already getting close to. Okay, so that section wasn't that bad, as long as it's like kind of a date, as long as it's a daytime, which it's 6 45 p.m. in the game. Um, but what's good thing about it is there's no, uh, there's no style childs around. So there we go, I got myself some 31 Koroks. I'm getting myself a lot now. I don't know how well that's gonna do. Oh wait, is this- it? Ah, yes, that's it. Okay, well... Let's do the shrine first, since it's already close. And then we'll do- My video froze at me, but hey, at least I didn't go not all the way through in a good way. Looks like we have ourselves some side quests with a person. <laughs> Bye! Wow, that Pokemon almost hit me when I go in the shrine. A fixed device. So this part... I... Don't know what to do about that. I'm gonna have to get some help with that part, honestly. Unless... I'm gonna try and do this. Or actually, you know what? Yeah. I kind of practiced, but I have no clue what to do about this, so... Yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so I got my game guide out with me. I, I got it out to kind of help me out. So it tells me I have to, like... Turn, let's see. 
turn around oops, like this way. And then press it in here. Maybe not all the way. And then grab this stick to fuse this. Wait, I thought I grabbed it. There you go, I'm like, come on now, let's grab that. Doing this way? Uh, that doesn't look right. Stick to this thing while you go back in there. Not exactly what I wanted, it, but okay. Oh gosh! What? I almost got ran over by the boulder. Oh, come on. Really? Now I fall to the death. I was doing good. Do, do I have to- Oh no. Okay, it's still here. That's good. I almost thought I would have to do this again. Okay. Alright, got this. Do you want me to do about this? I don't know how this is gonna do. Whoa, I almost got hit. Pretty nervous about this. Here we go. Oh, nice! One shot! And that opens. Okay. Oh, I didn't know there was another one. I think I messed it up. Get out of here! Oh wait, that's not... Huh. Oh, get out of here! But don't come back! Whoa! Whoa, that would have like hit me there. Okay, well I see how that works now with the hitting. Okay. Okay, I think I'm doing like... T Hold on. Gotcha, there we go. Alright, not bad. Not my kind, but that's okay. 
I'm just happy God I figure out about this this part here. Energizing elixir. Ooh, nice. I could definitely drink that. While I could also eat any foods that I have a a stamina, you know, stamina um, along. So there we go. We officially cleared through that shrine. Awesome. One more left to go. Alright. So, it looks like he's having trouble. Oh yeah, like we did last time. Oh, it's you! Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting... President Hudson here too, but I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Uh, try letting go. What? Are you going to support him? All right, well, like, unforgivable. Okay, so it's about to like fall. Okay. It looks like this time we need something like this. Uh. Okay, well... <gasps> Maybe. You know what? Yes, yes! I got an idea! This gives me an idea. Oh, I didn't know there was a spike thingy. <laughs> I think what I can do... Here. Here, I'm gonna like, make it like... If I could just... Wait, I don't know. Well, I guess I'll find out and try. Or, or maybe, here, let go of this. That was cool. I'm, so, I'm just figuring it out. I need to go up. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm. Tr I wanted to make it go underneath. Oh jeez, this is complicated. Honestly, that's gonna make it fall. I have a good oh. feeling. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it, it barely bends over, but... About to fall, but hey, it works! Ah. That was brilliant, I never would've thought of it. Alright. Just like for before. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I thought it was gonna like fall all the way, even though it did barely. Even though it fall just like that, but it's okay. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing on so well. Okay, so we got ourselves a red ruby for <laughs> twenty and meaty rice balls. Ah! That sounds pretty good. And a puff shroom oh. that I never used. But I've seen a trailer of it, honestly. Nice. Oh. Well. <laughs> I wonder if I could use it for top. I don't know. I'm coming up with some ideas about this. As I'm going to be heading up to that tower there. A 
I think I'm gonna have some fun fighting the monsters. Alright, hopefully they don't see me as I crouch like this. Alright. Hopefully what I can do... I want to try to sneak attack. If I don't... Okay. Oh gosh. Yes! Oh, wait! I thought you were dead! Okay, good. The mob didn't see me. Okay. I thought I would, but... Whew, that was close. Alright, can I even, like... <laughs> he barely saw me when he turns around, but hey, I, I can still beat him up. Not bad. Alright, next weapon. Hopefully, my I can like use a different weapon. I don't know. I guess I'll use it for now. Oh, okay. Maybe I should start crouching. In case them. I could, I could find the rocks. Or I could like... I think they'll... Okay, they saw me. Oh wait! Oh wait, wait, wait! Recall. Okay, just like the trailer. Okay. There we go. Where are we rushing? Go! Okay, dodging. Okay, dude, get out of my way. Okay, there you go. Oh gosh, I think I made a huge mistake. Oh no. Guys, I think I made a mistake on this. Oh god, I did! Oh. I should have not picked up the barrel. I should have just ran off. I should have just ran off. Oh my gosh. I finally defeated that big poker plane. Like, boss book with Fang. Like, the big one. Oh my gosh, I kept dying a lot. So I have to edit them out. My gosh, you guys have no idea how... How it... How long it takes me like this. But I'm just happy I did it. I think now I can just open the... <laughs> Open the sky view now. So what I did is I use a I use a fuse on a, the barrel death like a bomb, and then uh, that big vocal bed just got defeated pretty easily. Whew. That was intense for that one. So I'll go ahead and uh, skip this because we've already seen it. We're gonna go ahead and exam this right away. Now we can have a chance to do another of the tower unlock, like the Skyview Tower. We're going up to the sky. So we can get ourselves a map to unlock it. Alright. I like this kind of a scene for the, the skydive that Link is going. Alright, so there we go. Yes, there's an X mark because I died a lot. So we got one for the surface. 
And the sky. No idea how many, but I'm sure there's a lot. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just take a look around. For any other shrines. Footage. I don't see the others, but... But that's okay. Um, uh, let's... I think what we could do... I'm thinking... Let's go back to a lookout landing sky view because something tells me from the game I have to edit out from the loading screen my apologies for the cuts um as I was saying um yeah there's something yeah there's something here about the the sky there's something here yes there we go that's what the game tells me about it's some something of Joshua and uh Robbie which I'll get to that this one says pose pose it just says that. Alright, but let's go ahead and talk to Joshua and Robbie here. So, ah, what a fine afternoon. Hey you, is it true you've got the Pearl hat? Yep. Pearl and I worked together on the design, and I'm the one who put it together, you know. We should have called it the Robbie Pad, te no, technically speaking. Aww. Come on, Goggles. Are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not gonna listen to me, I'll go and jump into the cans myself. No way, no how. You can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chances. But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young to go wandering around somewhere so unknown so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end. Ah. But I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. What figure? Huh. Oh, Swordsman. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. So there's her name, Josh. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. This piece of slate, specifically the image of depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure of standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there, so I can see if there are any more de uh, depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. Uh -huh. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Oh. Joshua, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. Uh -huh. And Link will join me. We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your Pura's pad camera to take a picture of it for Joshua. A perfect plan. Camera? Oh. You don't know about the camera? It's one of the Pura pad's basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenario as an image. One that's stored in your bat pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Pura pad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures once we're down there anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see, I guess we should enter through the, the chance to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and you're in to go, come find me there. Ta-ta! Wait, hang on. Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all this, swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Okay, we got ourselves a tan bright bloom seed. Oh, and take this too. Thank you. I got more arrows with me. The chimps are pretty deep, 
So light from the surface doesn't make it down there, it's pitch black. But if you attach a bright blue seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you want to head straight out of Lookout Landing Southern Gate, you'll find the champ's goggles used just outside. I don't know too much about how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, please look after goggles for me. Alright, camera work in the depths. Oh, excuse me. Which it's... Which it's right there. Good thing I put the shrine there. But before I do that, I actually, I'm, since I'm at like low health, I want to go in into the nice spot to relax. Like the bed here. Uh, let's sleep until morning. I think you could do that in morning. So let's do that. And then we can go to the depths. I know it's weird saying it, but uh... But yeah, that's just what it's gonna be. Ta-da! That heals up our hearts. Alright. Now, let's go. That shrine we go. And here I am. There's a camp right here, which... Uh, yes, as you can see, I feel awful, so let's talk to him. Oh. Hey, Traveler, I'd stay away from that stuff if you care about your health. Folks are calling it gloom. If you get any on you, you'll start losing your strength like it's sapping your life away. Mm. I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths, and now look at me. The worst of it will recover on its own, little by little, so long as you're on the surface. But while you're in the depths, you won't recover at all. I thought I was going to die down there. Some investigation leader I turned out to be. This is just pitiful. I'm completely really on d so I really want to recover by noon. Oh, I feel you. Well, don't worry. Uh, yeah, if you touch those, you'll probably lose your hearts. I have a good feeling. So, let's go ahead and... Here, I'm gonna take a dive! Woo! Well, it doesn't show me the dive part, I wish, but... Oh. At least I'm going down anyways. The depths. Alright, so I have a game guide with me to help me. So, we're gonna talk to you. Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I am Ponik from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrive, uh... but he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright blue seeds and now I ran out. So I lost sight of him. Do you know where he could be? Oh. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. And last I saw him, he was heading way out there, off to the west. Do you have any bright blue seeds with you? I do. Oh. oh, that's great news. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You'd be risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know. You could easily get bright bloom seeds from caves and they'll light up if you have struck so they're pretty easy to use too. We use the seeds all the time on the Zone Survey team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hands. Alright. Oh. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distant down there. Oh. If you're going to explore the depths, take plenty of those seeds with you. Which, I'm gonna... Can I take one? Still standing there. Hmm. I guess I can't. Alright. Ooh, what are these? Th they look pretty new insects. I think I was... I already caught the fireflies. I wanna see what they are. If I could... Yeah, there you go. Deep Firefly. Nice. Alright, I'm just trying to like get the insects. I know I'm going towards the dark. Oh well. 
I'll let I'll let this one go. Alright. Exam. So I raise my hand up. And it gives us a light. I don't know what that's about, but hey, at least. Wow, it's beautiful. I like how the way the light looks. Oh, so, oh, so this is so this is the depths here that we could explore. The light room dispel the darkness. Oh, so I guess that means we can explore there if we want to. All right. I have seven hearts, so I'll be okay with. Them. All right. So the game guide tells me to go that way. All right. I gotta watch out from the gloom. I don't wanna like touch that. So I have to be extra careful about touching it because always my strength, like always my health, like my heart. So it's best that I just be careful. At least what I'm doing right now is just playing safe. I wanna go right here. Whew, okay. We're good. And there's a campfire here. So, hey you, still like- Okay, so... We can like read those if we want. Okay, that's just... I don't really care what they said. I'm just gonna follow up with my game guide. Tell me what, what I have to do. Wait, there, am I miss- Did I skip something? Ah, okay. Bomb flower. Thank you. I'll take it. I'm like, I'll take it from here. Oh, no. Uh, that was an accident. I actually want to... Okay, uh... I got the... I got so many of, uh... Bright bloom seeds here. So I can just like throw it if I want to. Um, all right, let me just ah another bonfire right here. Okay. No, why am I okay? Why am I doing that right now? I'm meant to use a, a bright blue. I think I have to throw it there. Ah, there we go. I can kind of. See, you know, just kind of see where I'm going. Found myself another. Yeah. Oh, they saw me. Okay, I'm gonna use it. Whew, nice one. Dodge that. Cute. Uh, I don't know why. Whoa! But okay. They're evil, so I have to attack them. Oh, I was hoping I would get a Fury Rush. Can you do it again? Close enough. But I'll still attack. I'll take the a bomb flower. Okay, where do I need to? Okay, I have to go over there. Oh, I got the puff shrew.
Wait. Oh my gosh. I think I made it the worst. Oh gosh. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> the mom just threw the focal plate. Oh my gosh. That was pretty funny, honestly. Okay. Are you going to attack me or what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Not what I'm expecting to be this. Okay, you just grab this. Okay, here we go. Are you gonna like? <laughs> I like how he's just you're just grabbing the vocal plate and just try to just throws it at me. Like what the heck? There we go. <laughs> Thanks, I'll take that Traveler's Sword from you. Alright, my soldier's shield is battery damage. That's okay. Ooh, I'll get the mob in order. I'll, I'll shoot you too. Oh, if I could bring out the bow. What the? No! Are you serious? I got hit? Shut up with that horn. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I can't believe I just got hit. So I get hit, and I lost. <clears throat> That's not cool at all. How, do I, how am I supposed to do like... Now I feel, now I feel sad. I don't know, how am I supposed to like... Yeah. I don't know, let's see, um... Do I need to like recover, like go to the bed to heal up? Is that what I need to do? Because I can't get up to another heart. I don't know what to do about that. Okay, I don't want to go near when I catch these. I'm like just scaring it away. Oh gosh. Am I close to that? Oh, looks like we're gonna have to fight with these guys too. Don't you dare. There you go. I dodged that in a hurry rush. Rock hammer. That's fine by me. I'll, I'll take another one. Why not? Stop! I just want to use this. Oh my gosh! Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, that was close. Muddle bud. That's a weird word to say. Done. I am now. 
Oh, I think I just saw Robbie there. All right. Let's see what happens for coming to this one here. It's probably a same exact, but I think the different one. At least for coming here, I I can light it up. So you could say I find it pretty helpful. Right? I wonder, does it help? I'm very curious about this. Alright, that's also here. Ah, okay. So it helps help my heart back like that. Alright. And I just saw Robbie, which there he is. He's right here. What? Look at how bright that got thing got. That light down in this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous. It's almost like like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. This statue, it's standing tall on two legs on arm, uh, or this statue, it's standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful to, or it looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us on that place of slate, don't you think? Alright, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you haven't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the Purapad's basic features. Give me that Pura Pad for a second, alright? Well, that's the problem. Your camera is locked, and so your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and then you tap that and... And we got ourselves a camera! Awesome. Now we can take pictures whatever we want for our creatures. Boom! Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So, go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly too. Test it out, experience is the best teacher after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I'll want, I'll want to see how it looks. Which, it goes like this. Alright. Hey you, how'd that go? If you've captured an image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. Well, I'll show it to you right now. Can I just show it to you? So, did you get a good picture? I did. I took it. Stupendous. Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense route, getting us a picture of that statue. You've just started helping us research what's down there, or what's down here. But soon enough, we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. <laughs> See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. Alright, I'll make sure I won't. As a matter of fact, I think my game guide wants me to go... Um... Oh gosh, I think we're good now, cause, you know what, yeah, I think we're good now. Okay, I was like, I don't know, but let's go back to the lookout landing, we don't want to keep Joshua and Robbie waiting for too long. And here I am, back at the lookout landing, so my guess, Joshua, aha, there it is. There they are. They're right there. Hey you! Show Joshua the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well and it looks darn cool too. Alright, here's one for you Joshua. This is it! This does match what's on the fragment. Thank you swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort whoever they were. 
which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you my, as my as thanks for helping me with this stage of my investigation. Our early surveys of the devs found all of this. What do you think it's for? Uh, I don't know, but I'm sure it's be useful. Hmm. Oh yeah, I think it's for I can like buy the other objects, right? I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy or something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you'll find them useful. <laughs> that fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mystery, um, mysteries or mysterious. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to, I see. I'm going to swift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I could piece together. Goggles, swordsman. <laughs> thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. You're welcome. I'm so happy, glad we did this. So there we go. That. So that was the main quest for the depths. Okay, well, I think I'll go ahead and end this episode here. I think I've been recording as I'm making the video. I think I've been recording for two hours, I believe. Uh, well, there's Pura up there, which I can talk to her before I end. Hey, a Linky popping by to make an appearance. I don't see any visible injuries, so you mu must be holding up okay out there. Have you made any progress on investigating the four regions like I asked? Oh, not yet, but... Alright. Not yet, but... But these are gonna be for later. Uh, maybe. Uh, don't worry, we'll get to that. Uh, you know, I like to focus with the shrines before I take on with stuff. And I want to find something special that's for the sword and his shield. Like, we already know the Master Sword. Uh, it's... The special one is the shield, which we'll probably worry when we get further detail for, for the future. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I think next time, um, hmm, I don't know. I think there, I think we'll find something new up ahead next episode. Um, I'll look up on my game guide, you know, I'll look it up about where I should go. Uh, you know, not, not only just, you know, not only just uh, the phenomena, uh, but I think, but you know what? I think what we should do is we should go make a way to do, I think we'll make a way to Rito Village, which it's probably somewhere there, but. So for now, I'm gonna end it here. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you do, please do me a favor, drop a like for this video. If you are new to my channel and haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell so y'all can be notified on when I can post videos on YouTube. Feel free to leave a comments down below, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!